my god guys, this is really heavy. What's up guys, Steven here, welcome back to another video. So today I'm super excited because a really big package arrived from Sennheiser and I think it's a brand new MBO soundbar with 3D sound. And if you don't know what 3D sound is, then watch this review and find it out. So guys, right now I'm using the Sony HT Set of 9 soundbar, which I've already reviewed on my channel. It's a really solid soundbar for a good price. I'm using it together with my PlayStation 4 and here the TV. Now we used to sell these TVs, but we're switching to different manu manufacturers, so we'll bring out some really, really cool TVs. And this is just a very basic 55-inch 4K TV. So we'll now switch the soundbar and check out how the Sennheiser soundbar performs with a regular TV. So let's check it out. So guys, now before we can use the soundbar, we have to calibrate it. And this is really cool because Sennheiser includes a microphone that you put in your position where you're sitting and then it does some auto calibration. So basically the microphone is listening to the soundbar and then the soundbar adjusts the sound for the perfect sound for your sitting location. And I think that is really cool and calibrating your home audio is a very technical thing which most users cannot do with their own equipment. So Sennheiser is actually including a microphone and an auto calibration that you don't have to do anything. I will now just plug in the microphone to the soundbar, put it on the couch and then let's check out how the calibration works. The calibration took like two minutes and then the soundbar was ready to use. Further tweaks can be done later in the app. The MBO soundbar's quite high $2,500 price is, let's say, usually outside the range most people expect to pay for a soundbar. To be really honest, this is like almost four times as much as I paid for my TV. But Sennheiser has equipped this massive soundbar with powerful hardware and impressive future-proofing features. Once I've unpacked the soundbar and tried to put it in front of my TV, I just realized that you'll either need to wall mount the bar, by the way the $60 mounting kit is not included, or wall mount your TV, because like some other soundbars, the MBO is incredibly huge, so it simply leaves no room for your TV. All the ports are located on the back, including three HDMI 2.0a inputs, HDMI eARC for future-proof connection to your TV, digital optical out, subwoofer out and an RCA analog input for legacy devices. So you can also stream music over Chromecast, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. So there are plenty of connectivity options for all your devices. I've connected the soundbar to my TV with the eARC to be able to control the volume with one remote. The small display on the front of the unit shows the selected input and sound format received. While there's a backlit MBO logo, the brightness of both can be adjusted from within the Sennheiser Smart Control application, which also gives you access to advanced options such as input renaming and an equalizer. Within the MBO's huge frame, there are 13 individual proprietary drivers, including two 3.5-inch top-firing drivers, five 1-inch aluminum dome tweeters and six 4-inch long-throw woofers. The soundbar reproduces real, authentic sound for both music and film, including powerful bass, though some people may want to attach a subwoofer for some extra bass. After you have plugged the MBO into a TV via HDMI ARC, connected your devices and turned it on, you have to do the auto calibration which perfectly calibrates the soundbar depending on your room. The soundbar is compatible with all kinds of codecs, ranging from Dolby Atmos and DTS-X to Dolby True HD, plenty of DTS formats including DTS-9624 and MPEG-H, a 3D audio solution developed by Germany's Fraunhofer Institute. Along with EARC connection, the system supports 4K pass-through with Dolby Vision, HDR10 and HDR10+. I have connected my PlayStation 4 to the soundbar and it worked with all kinds of formats. Also gaming was no problem and I didn't experience any latency issues during gaming or syncing issues. If you connect the soundbar over HDMI ARC, you can control the soundbar's volume with your TV's remote. But Sennheiser also includes a pretty decent and simple remote. The remote is pretty easy to use, including keys for source switching, the bar usually switches automatically, and equalizer modes where you can add your own tweaks. The processing is really well done, the channel levels are perfectly balanced and nothing has to be adjusted. But if you want to make some additional tweaks, you need to download the app to your phone. 
In there, you will find the MBO 3D surround sound settings. I left the ambient mode on for most of the time except of listening to music, and I have to say the ambient mode is really crazy. I was watching a few Dolby trailers and when I was sitting on the couch and watched it I could really feel somehow a shake under me and all the highs coming from the top. It's really hard to explain but if you're interested in the soundbar I would say go and listen for yourself in a store. The feeling is incredible even though there is no extra woofer and no extra speakers behind me. I've recorded a bit of the sound with my awesome Sennheiser MKH 416 microphone and I know sound on YouTube is not really something you can experience in the same way like me, but check it out. The number of speakers around you no longer matters because this is the world's first object-based cinematic audio with powerful moving audio that transcends from channels to moving around you with pinpoint accuracy. Whether the soundscape sits the mood of the scene, or captures the full extent of nature's fury. this? It's just the beginning of Dolby Vision. Because what you thought was black isn't. This is black. It's time to nut up or shut up. <laughs> Sorry, just you in that chair. I think it would have made a damn fine president. You would have brought a real dignity to the office. You're welcome, America. Welcome to Zombieland. Life is about more than just survival. <laughs> we were a family. Dysfunctional, sure, but what family isn't? Merry Christmas! What would you like, little girl? I really you to stop calling me little girl. Alright guys, so we're now here at the end of this video and just quickly my personal feedback and conclusion about the Sennheiser MBO. So far I really have to say it's the best sounding sound buy I've tested so far but also the most expensive one and the biggest one. So let's jump directly into the pros and cons. First of all the pros. Now so far I have to say it's really sounding great. It doesn't matter what you're listening to, like if you're watching a movie, listening to music, watch a documentation. It always gets the perfect sound and you can switch between the modes on your remote control. You can tweak it in the equalizer settings on your smartphone and I would recommend that too because um, I was putting up the, the highlights a little bit and now it really sounds nice to me when I listen to music. Before it was okay but um, after adjusting the equalizer now it sounds really fine. Then I really like that it has this auto calibration. So yesterday I was watching the Dolby Vision trailer and I was sitting on the couch and then I, I literally on that one effect I felt the ground a little bit shaking and I was like stunned because there is no subwoofer connected and it's, it's really crazy what frequencies come out of one single soundbar. But also that means it's a huge soundbar with lots of speakers and this thing is really really heavy. But sound wise this is sounding perfect. Now there have been some reviewers who said that they have lip sync issues. You have seen it in the video, now I have a really cheap TV, this is a 400 euro TV, 55 inch with ARC and it's working fine on that TV. So I don't really think that there will be problems on high end TVs. I can't really imagine that. So I think the lip sync issues that must be some kind of misconfiguration but so far the soundbar is working really fine. 
Now another con is that this thing, as I've told, it's really huge and there is a wall mount kit, but you have to buy it extra, which is also a little bit, you know, strange because the sound buys $2,500, the wall mount kit is like 60 bucks. But anyway, um, yeah, um, you can wall mount the sound, but I would recommend this because it's so high. Um, if you have a, a um, TV which has flat stands, then the soundbar will actually be bigger than the TV. So you have to put it somewhere else or you have to lift up the TV or just wall mount the TV, leave the soundbar under it. So um, you have to check out the configuration, but you have just to keep in mind that the soundbar is really high and wide. And probably the biggest downside is that it is really expensive, $2,500. Now, most of the people will actually go with a cheap surround system, build it on their own for like half of the price, but this actually doesn't aim at people like that. So this soundbar is for people who have a room, they don't want a surround system because it, it takes up place, they want easy configuration and they want really good sound coming straight from the TV and yeah, it does that job really well. So if you are one of that persons, then go for it, but well, it's really expensive and I'm not really sure if I would spend so much on a soundbar. If it would be below the $2,000 range, probably I would say yes. Alright guys, so if you liked this video, please like it, and if you want to see more, please subscribe. I would be really happy about it. So big thanks for watching. As always guys, I'm Steven from Tech Magnet, and I'll catch you in the next one. Have a nice day, and bye!